Welcome back to Starfall. Hold on, do we need to activate the horn at the same time? Come here. One sec. Aww. Well, fuck. <laughs> Asshole. Fine. Wait, as it's hold on, wait, wait, wait. 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 We have to do it at the same time. Three, uh, two, uh, one, two, three. God damn the lag. Oh, that just ruined a very good moment. Wow, this game is. Also, I just realized. Laggy as penis. Uh, so I also just realized that uh, if you look at what comes out of the horn, it says horn. <laughs> Wait, what? Horn. Oh my god, I see it. Hold on, I'll have to like frame by frame and take a picture of it for people in the audience to see. That was good. Uh, yeah. So yeah. Are we back in the are we back in the feud? Yeah. Uh, All oh so so uh yeah, welcome the fuck back to Starfall. Yeah. Uh, Holy shit. Uh I accidentally sh I accidentally was trying to shout that frozen guy to death with my horn and I opened the door from a distance. Anywho, you wanna know what the best part is about worshipping Toad? What? Seed shit sucker! Woo! Oh my god. His thing is moving faster in water. You always regret not getting him before co coming to the stage, but I don't because faith. Whew! Oh. Anyway, so yeah, new subject to talk about. Um, I recently told I blew Gene's mind with like a spoiler of a character, and he just couldn't handle it. Um, I'm talking about Natsu. Fairy what was that two? again? Oh, fairy tale. Oh my god. Yes. Oh. Um. Hold on, just a quick warning. This episode is going to have a lot of fairy tale spoils. Spoilers. So if you're like big on fairy tale, don't listen. I'll like unmute this and I'll let you know when you can unmute this, okay? But anyway, so yes, mm -hmm. Natsu, Natsu Dragneel, the main character of fairy tale, is the world's strongest book. Book. <laughs> I just love when you say that. Like, this guy. He's I'll just a fucking book. I love it. The guy who spews dragon flames um, can destroy entire buildings without even meaning to. Is the is a book. He's just a book. He's he, as a human being, is just a book. Yeah. Anyway, I'll explain that. Like, um, Gene, I wanted to explain this to you. Um, apparently, there's like the main enemy of fairy tales, a guy called Zareph, who is a 400-year-old dark magic wizard who is immortal. Well. Yeah. So apparently. Vegan. When Zareth was a little kid, his mother and his baby brother died in childbirth. Wait, what? Oh. <laughs> I thought it was like... As, as his mom was being born, he was giving birth to him and his brother, and they both died. It, it, my brain didn't register it the way that a normal brain should. Hold on, hold on, come here. I want to I wanna put like a logic loop on that. Okay, so, um, mother giving birth to baby makes... Mother, mom, well, mother is born, Zareph gives birth to me. whatever it is you said, oh my god. What the fuck? I thought it was the mom was being born, and the brother was being born, and they both died at the same time, and my brain didn't register that correctly. Anywho. Anyway. So yeah, Zareph. The glorious, the, the, the glorious uh, pastors of Toadism are making peace with these people, but I've come to, to rescind that peace treaty, so uh, yeah. AKA, fuck these guys. Uh, but anyway, so yeah. Who so, also seem to turn into a delicious plate of fish when they die. Anyway, I mean, just so, look, look at this greatness. So basically, Seraph became obsessed with trying to find a way to revive his baby brother, who he cared so much about. Like, he's, yeah. not a bad, he, he's never a bad guy. He's actually not a bad guy. He was. He never did anything bad. Just because you're a bad guy doesn't mean you're a bad guy. Uh, Zangief. Fucking Zangief. Anyway, so yeah, so apparently he was like very gifted in magic and he was like very good at it. So he was always obsessed with trying to find out a way to bring his brother back to life. And in doing so, apparently like the gods looked down on him. The gods punished him for doing so and made it so that anything around him anything around him and everything that he touches dies. Well, and he's those gods seem to be pretty dick. And he's also immortal, so, yeah. 
you, you gotta think, if, if you're a god, why do you freaking do that to people? That's, know, right? like, that, that's just dick. Anyway, so, after For that, no particular reason. Uh, so, apparently, Zerif, after that, um, he became a mortal. The gods also made him immortal, so basically he walked around the earth for 400 years, killed, he walked around his home world, killing everything he came in contact with for 400 years straight. Oh my. Yeah, so you can see how that's that... a lot like, of time. Ending lives. Anyway, so yeah, so what Zerif did, he learned black magic and created demons that would one day hopefully kill him. Oh! Like Zerif Ooh, just, that's like, a... wow. Like Zerif just wanted to die, so he started making demons with enough strength that they could kill him. And... So yeah, like, they called it like the books of Zerif. Like, it was book, like, he wrote the book, like, everything about the demon inside a book, and then the book would manifest into a demon. Oh! Oh, and that's freaking oh, the no, guy. No, 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 I'm not there yet. Anyway. Oh. Not just that. So this is what happened. So, but his greatest, Zerif's greatest demon was called End. E-N-D. Like, that was the most powerful demon he ever made in hopes that it would be his end. Get it? Eh. But that's not just it. This, um, the guy is made, the main character's name, Natsu Dragneel. When I was, I was reading this chapter and you find out Zerif's last name. Let me guess. Dragnia? Yeah. This guy, Natsu, was his brother that died. So, Zerif. Oh! Well, that's fucking new. <laughs> <laughs> exactly, so yeah, Zerif brought his brother back to life, turned him into a demon, so he could kill him. Like, so wow. Natsu, Natsu could kill Zerif. Note to self. Freaking, uh. Make sure that if if you're in a if you're in a realm with gods, don't do anything with them because they seem to be pretty dick, and make times not very fun. Yeah. So yeah, basically, Natsu is the world's most powerful book made to kill his own brother. Sweet. But yeah. And end of fairy tale spoiler. Uh, Let's move on to another topic. Yeah. So, uh, fucking book guy dead anyway. <laughs> <laughs> Those are the only words I'm gonna say. Technically, not spoiling anything. Yeah. <laughs> anyway. anyway. So what should we talk about now? I'm trying to get... Oh, I know another thing to talk about. Um, a while ago, eh. we. As... Jesus Christ, your arrows every fucking time. Eh. I also picked up the spear because it looks like I'm just holding an arrow at the ready. <laughs> that is so true. Holy shiza. Why does a snake have an ass? Oh my god, you're right. I never noticed that. <gasps> and that oh gloriously god, impressive... Dude, when she made that noise... I need to put the Spongebob face in front of her now. Oh, please do! That, <laughs> that noise... This, this <laughs> is my mother. That this noise. is my mother, the glory Spongebob face. Because that noise sounded like the exact same thing you made in the first episode. Oh my god. Oh. <laughs> yes. <laughs> no. Anyway. Yes, that would be... <laughs> oh god, I've been encapsulated with, with love. Or butts. Uh, or a butt. Not a game. Uh, Looking arrows for days. But yes, this glorious designer's singular boot. And the unnecessary reason to put an ass on a snake. Yeah. But yes, so, glory. Oh, yeah, another thing that I, 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 oh, I, I will hit not, my microphone what? there. I accidentally hit my microphone. Yeah. Anyway. Oh, ah, crap. How do I get out of this? I cannot. There we go. Uh, you yeah, you I, wiggle I and know. shake. Get ready to bake, because we going to Medusa in the flip of the fake. Get my mixtape online at, at, at quibbledibble.com. I'm going to go now. <laughs> uh, but okay. Yes. Anyway, so one thing we did also... Was Fucking... Uh, this was a while ago. One thing we did in my engineering class, we made robots. Robots. Like, no, but it was 
like the same robot, it was basically Robot Kid, it was a robot with a crab claw that could grab something and carry it around the room and place it down, that was the whole point of it. Yeah. And one of the guys was driving around his robot, picks up a cup, picks up one of those like styrofoam cups, and ooh, ooh, it's free. Yeah. Nice. Otherwise known as the discipline paddle. <laughs> Just look at it. Does that not look like a paddle to place upon someone's ass for sexual pleasure? Anyway, what? Um, a guy was like driving around his robot and picks up one of those like big styrofoam cups you would get like, at, a, at a fast food place. Yeah. Grabs it, picks it up, presses the trigger again, and crushes the cup, causing the contents to spill over the floor. Oh god. Yeah. <laughs> And then another time, another thing, like a guy picked up... What, what purpose? What? What purpose would that robot serve other than looking awesome as it crushes someone's drink? Yeah, and another thing that happened was a guy picked up his robot while another guy had the controller, so... As he picked up the controller, as, the guy, as he picked up the robot, the guy moved the controller around the guy's neck and squeezed it quickly. Huh. And it gave him a hickey. What? The, the robot crush gave him a hickey. That a robot literally just fucking flirted with a guy by nearly crushing his neck. BTW, these guys will shrek you if you're not careful. Oh right. Oh crap. Oh, so, so freaking boulder. boulder. There, there are boulders coming from the top of the stage, and they will also shrek you beyond belief if you're not careful. Which and you are not. I am not indeed. Oh god, the deer! <laughs> Did you see that? <laughs> yeah. Uh... The glorious ET moment with the deer. Oh god. Well, my match uh, is this... certainly improving. This game is easily one of the best party games you could ever ask for. Yeah. It is the epitome of being awesome in fighting and just not giving a shit. Uh... Yeah. So, glorious moon nonsense. Oh, another thing I want to talk about. Oh. oh, crap. My friend Timothy, who is a junior, is going for senior president next year. Ooh. And me and my wait, friend... Wait, what's his name? Uh, Timothy. What's his name? Timothy. Timothy. Yeah. Does he, does, does, does he want to be called Tim or specifically Timothy? He likes being called Timothy. Sweet. Anyway... But it yeah. takes testicular mass to truly appreciate your name in such a way. But yeah, um... The point is that me and my friend, um, <laughs> Franklin and Matthew went around promoting him. I see. And Franklin, oh. Franklin is like a fucking hilarious guy. I mean, we did Peter Pan, he played Smee. <laughs> oh did, lord. He did an absolute beautiful fucking job. Franklin, if you're watching this, props to you, because you're, you're, he also, he, oh yeah, Franklin's also the guy who won the Mr. Bear Cat pageant. Oh, sweet. Yeah, so Franklin, I don't know who you is, but you were fun to play as in GTA 5, and would totally maybe suck your dick, probably not, probably, probably yes. Anyway, what were you saying? Um, so Franklin, he is, like, good at improv, and so he came up with this Quit speech. Quit throwing rocks, you douche. He came up with this speech, like, we would go up to a random it was like, we were promoting him during lunch, like, he would go up to a table, and it was like, now, I'm gonna tell you something, there are two kinds of people in this world. There are people, I do got fucked. Yeah. There are two kinds of people in this world. People who care, and people who care even more. And Timothy is Wait, the guy who cares even more. <laughs> and, like, when always went on about it, see, look, it's like, next year you're voting for senior president, and since I'm not, and I would say, I've come here and tell you to vote for me, but seeing as I'm not gonna be here next year, you cannot vote for me. But you know who you can vote for? You can vote for Timothy. Because a vote, vote for, for Timothy America. is a vote for America. <laughs> and oh, God, just this like, long speech about about Timothy, what he would do as senior class president, and it was beautiful coming from Franklin's mouth. Also, get the fuck out of here. This place is about to get swarmed by these guys. Um, they I, will unendingly, un un unendingly come, so hurry up up the ladder. Can't There's my sword. Still popping out of that single shed. Dude, oh it, god! And move down so I can actually grab the sword. Just move down. Moving down. down. There we go. Up. Get up. the fuck up here. We uh, need to move. I'm coming. 
shoot! Son of a fuck! Jump! Yeah. For your life! Jump I... for your life, I can't hold off block-headed bastards for long. Damn it, I can't. Run! Oh, there we go! Let's Run go. away! Money! <laughs> Run away! Ooh. <laughs> we sound like the guys. Stay back, you monsters! We sound like the guys from Monty Python and the Holy Grail. Run away! Oh. Away! Fucking back to back army of two up in all. This is working a lot less efficiently than I thought it would. Ugh. Ugh. I, I, other than stuff like that, the freaking moon looks lovely tonight. Oh yeah, um, another dream I had before. This just talking about Franklin reminded me of this dream. Just... Cool. I'm guessing it. I'm I'm guessing it. It centers on or and or involves Franklin. Uh, for like a quick moment, um, in this dream I had joined band again. Like I used to be cool. a part of band. I, do, I think I told you that before. I used to play clarinet. I think so. Yes. Anyway. Months. So, um, in this dream, I had joined band in high school again, and we were going. On, we were on our way to this performance, like getting ready yeah. to do another performance, and we got like a really good budget for some reason, Ooh. and we all got to go to a, a special hotel, and we all got our own hotel room. Oh! Just, just a reminder. This is, just a reminder, everyone who probably didn't focus on this. This is a dream. Anyway. Yeah, this, this dream bit. Just remind to everyone. Probably good to hear- Oh, who the fuck? They're li they're literally frozen assholes. <laughs> <laughs> nice job. Uh, I would make a frozen reference, but the better part of me doesn't want to. <laughs> anyway, the hotel. Dream. The dream, so we all got our own hotel room because the budget was so good. And I'm like- So I'm like, I'm walking with Franklin. Yeah. And also, this frozen guy's just killing with me. So anyway, I'm walking with Franklin, who apparently is also in band. He's not really, but in the dream he was. So he's like, oh. like I, we like walk past this hotel room. I see in his hotel room. It's a very nice, basic hotel room, but it looks very nice. I'm like, sweet, I can't wait to get to my hotel room. And so get that I, chicken. so like I, so I, like, I have my car key, key card, key card, Lark. Card key, key card, car key. Car key, key card, key, card, key, card, key, card, card, key, card, card, key, card, card, key. Anyway. Anyway. So in the dream, so I'm like, alright, I'm so excited. So I open up the so I open up the so I like put the key card into the slot and I'm just about to open it up now. Do you know like in animes those like traditional Japanese bathhouses? Oh the, yes, the classic. I open up my room and it's a really, really, oh! really big bathhouse. Ooh. That's just your room? <laughs> no, that was the entire room. Like I walk in, I open up the door, and it's like it's like looks like the floor and the tubs and everything look like porcelain. There's like a giant, there's like a giant tub. There's like jet tubs, shower stalls, and I'm like, um, I exit the room, close the door, open it up again, and see how it's a bath. That's still a bath. I'm like, this can't be right. This is weird. <laughs> yeah. Ugh. These guys are getting so shrek. <laughs> they can do nothing. Uh, oh anyway. god, this poor man! This poor man that I'm juggling at the edge of the screen. I just know that you can handle these guys, but I I've actually figured out the perfect frequency to just have an unending stream of arrows. Anyway, as the dream continues, so I can't oh. wait So I go down to the front desk and I'm like, excuse me, um, is, is this really my room? So like, the guy looks at the card, scans, and it's like, yep, this is your room. I'm like, so, I go back up to Rocks, the one mile that way. Swamp, 96 miles that way. Brrrr! Anyway, what? So, I'm like really confused. I'm like, and they, the guy, the whole tip, the front desk clerk is like, yep, this is your room. I'm like, great. So, sweet. Yeah. So, I. Snowball fight! And by snowball fight, I mean arrow fight! So, I go, I, like, I, I go back up to the floor where my room is, and I see Franklin out in the hallway. I'm like, hey, Franklin, come check this out. And I show him my hotel room. He's like, dude, what is this? Dude, what is this? And I'm like, it's my hotel room. He's like, this is your room? And it's like, just, just so you know, this thing was in the entire bathhouse, and there was no bed or anything. 
You just you you had to just sleep in the bath. I slept in a jacu I slept in like a bubble jet tub or whatever. I'm getting to that, but yeah, he's like, cool. Wait, so what is this? And I'm like, this is my hotel room. He's like, what? So yeah, just like my hotel room was. That's all I can really remember of it. Was that? I see. Oh. Is, your, that, that, that was your dream, is that, is that your hotel room was just a literal bathhouse. Exactly, it was like white porcelain and shiny and everything, it was like... Eat yeah. shit, snowball nerd. <laughs> oh god. I think I just killed that man. Like, more yeah. than normal. Yes. Jesus Christ, dude, you're... Fucking right. arrows! Damn. Ugh. Just remember... We're the good guys. But yeah, that was my dream. It was just that, and that's all I remember. And for the night, I just like brought up. I just slept in one of the tubs. Rock and roll. Anyway, that's gonna have to be. Uh. We're gonna end Starfall there with another fascinating dream of Kyle Burks. Woo! You dreamy son of a bitch. Anywho, I'm gonna go wank behind the street while Toad watches you. Hold on. Just dang it, game is if it would stop he lagging, is, please and thank you. There we go. He is always watching. Tonigua. Saviors of our world. You can, if you look very closely near the bottom of the tree, you can see that you can see my sheath jittering as I am furiously masturbating. Anyway, see you later.